Hello, it's Bobby with aprontalks.com and I want to come with to you today to talk a little bit about encouragement. There can be a lot of times in your life, in your personal life, in trying to start a business where it just seems like you can't do it. Like it just, it seems like every door that opens, there's another one that closes. And it can get so frustrating from financial difficulties to not knowing the next step to take to even family not believing in you. I, there is a huge amount that could be happening with you right now. I know in my personal life, my husband is thankfully very supportive and so is my family, the rest of my family. But honestly, life can be hard. I've come from some very difficult things in my life, very difficult situations, uh, a few different ones. And one thing has gotten me through all of them, including uncertainty, uncertainties and uh, issues in starting a business. And that's God. Honestly, if I didn't have God, I don't know where I would be right now. Now, this is not a sermon. I'm just saying that He helps in all situations. Yes, there's salvation. Okay, good point. Yeah, salvation is there. Thank goodness. Thank you, Jesus. I get to go to heaven when I die. But... <laughs> There is a huge array of other benefits of loving the Lord. There is just a huge array. He guides in business. He guides in, in what to do next. What would be the most wisest decision for your next step. He guides in relationships finding the right one instead of settling or picking the absolute wrong person. Listen, I wasn't always a Christian. I didn't do the right things. I still make tons of mistakes. No one's perfect. Just because you become a Christian doesn't mean that you become perfect. <laughs> it doesn't happen like that. That's what Jesus is for. For us who are totally imperfect. <laughs> it's not, you don't need to think of it as a stuffy thing. It's not. Jesus was real. He was a real human being. God came to earth as a human. Human issues. Human frailties. He understands And uh, honestly, since I have gotten the mindset that it's okay to include God in my business, it has been growing. I've gained new insight and new ideas, and they just sometimes it's overwhelming that the ideas keep rolling in over and over and over, and I don't even have I'm not quick enough to even write them down or or put them in the computer. <laughs> That's how it works because he likes to bless and he loves you. Whether you believe in God or not, guess what? He believes in you. That's right. Even if you don't love God, he loves you and believes in you. And there's a big, big future in store for you. And he can get, help you get to that point and you don't need to be perfect to do it I mean I'm doing it and I'm going to get there I'm not where I want to be yet I don't think I ever will be until the day I die um, seriously I am not where I want to be I have a long way to go in growing personally spiritually and professionally. There's a lot of things that I know that I can't even teach about yet because I haven't proven it for myself. 
I haven't proven where the, um, if you did an analysis, you would see it. Other things, yes. You know, I, I work for wish list products. I've proven myself that I can handle things. I've worked for myself online since 1999. There have been some out of the home jobs I've had during that time, but mainly it's been online. <laughs> you know what? When I got the job for Wishlist, you know what I was doing? Praying to God for help. My husband at the time, the ex, was out of the home. I don't share this often. He was out of the home. I was on unemployment and food stamps. You can balk about that if you want, but that's what they were meant for, to help people. I was taking odd jobs. I was taking on projects out of Craigslist. I was scrubbing toilets. I was doing whatever I possibly could do to keep a roof over my and my children's head and keep the bills paid and food on the table. You do what you got to do, but you don't settle. You don't stay there. You keep moving. You keep moving forward. Well, I was praying. I tell you what, I was warfaring for some help. I was battling in the spirit. I was taking my heart and I was throwing it to heaven. I was pulling down cords of, of encouragement and strength from heaven above. I was speaking to the Holy Spirit. I was speaking to Jesus. And I know he was interceding for me and my children. I got the job with wish list. I never used Wishlist before, honestly. I was very interested in it. I used WordPress before. And out of many applicants, I was one that was chosen. That was a God thing. That was a God thing. And I thank Jesus every day still for that. He can make miracles in your life happen. Now it's growing this business. It's teaching other people how to do what I have done. Whether finding a job online or if you were, if you were laid off, which are so many, so many right now. Work for yourself. I became an independent contractor for Wishlist. Still am. I still have a full time day job. I do this part time after hours. One day I won't need to have a full time day job. I'll work totally and fully for myself by teaching others how to do this and how that by bringing God into the business you will find blessing upon blessing and it will not stop. It is a fact. You can't change God's character and He wants to bless you. So I just wanted to add that for the day. Still working on the blogging training. It's going to be great. The first day training is already about two or three pages long with some images and I'll try to do probably a video to include in that. So I just wanted to encourage you, no matter what you are wanting to do, whether it be blogging, totally new to the internet, it happens, right? I just started using cell phones maybe a year and a half ago, two years ago, something like that. I never text. I started texting about a year ago or so. So, anyway, <laughs> you can do new things. Some people... The internet is still new to them, believe it or not. Some, these these uh, kids from the younger generation, they know things about this stuff that you can't even imagine. But there's always something new to learn. That's what you need to remember. There's always something new to learn, and we can learn it. 
you can absolutely start your own blogging business and make money at it. And I'm going to teach you how to do that in the training. You can work direct sales. You can make your own products and sell them. You can sell uh, refurbished, used things on eBay. You can create a service for other people. You can teach people what you know. Do you like to cook? Do you want to blog about cooking or, or create teaching manuals or videos about your wonderful techniques of making these delicious, yummy dinners and meals? I buy into that. I'm always looking for something easy and delicious to make. Well, you can sell that. You can sell um, a recipe book. You can sell training. So you can make your passion into a business, whether it be photography, painting, um, writing, cooking. If you're into exercise and fitness, teach people how you do it. Take people on, on bike rides with you when you go out. Have a scenic video blog membership that you sell. People will have to join your membership to to be included in the scenic blog that you video of your adventures or something. I mean, it, the possibilities are endless. So be happy. Be more, do more, and love more. You won't believe what's in store for you. Your future is looking very bright. Very bright. So you be blessed and have a wonderful, wonderful day. And remember, make this the best day ever. Bye.